Hey, what's up with the guys and welcome back to the very last gameplay of Days Gone. I want to give my final thoughts of the game and possibly um, bonus footage or a bonus missions. I really don't know what it is. But before that, you guys can probably notice that the gameplay is in 4K. Yes, I was finally getting my hands on a new GPU. I'll throw it up on the screen for those who uh, happen to give a fuck. I know it's not the new 3080 Ti, but it's new to me, and um, I was very lucky that I got my hands on it. Uh, with that all being said, man, let's hop into the game. Want to show you the guys that um, all the collectible collectibles. Um, nearly 100% on everything. The only thing I'm waiting on is Copeland's uh, BS radio here, but everything else we completed. Um, and the three storylines are Iron Mike and uh, the little girl Lisa that we saved a couple times. It uh, looks like she came back. And the very last one that I'll be very interested in is um, O'Brien. So let's get up into it, man. See the last three missions of Days Gone. Very excited to... Uh, Test out this 4K. Hope you guys like it. Hope you enjoy it. Um, the only thing I do need now is a 4K monitor. Hey, Deke. You need something? Hey, what's happening? Hey. Hey, Deke. Addie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was in a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was going to make something out of it, like a <laughs> cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Mm. Iron Mike played cribbage. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point. That there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. Well, oh, what does it say? Yeah, Iron don't Mike, look at me. I just Wilcox, carved it. It's, uh, 1941. It's an old Hindu proverb. My mother Hindu. taught it to me. It reads, rivers do not drink their own water, trees do not eat their own fruit, and clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, coming School from you, I think that would cool. have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell is that even mean? <laughs> Psst. Huh? Come on. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't going to save itself. God damn it. Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys. Let's get to work. <sighs> oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike saw Addy and I for the first time at the lodge. I'm trying out the new guns, by the way. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 no. We were all up okay. in it. What? Addy, uh, uh, why for the first time, an Iron Mike comes out and he looks at us. Like you can stop. He had that grin on his I'm not cool. You're such a perv. For the benefit of others. 100%. Wahando. The sheriff. Uh, let's go check up on uh, Lisa now. Hey, we got a goddamn ripper here. The uh, turn around. Not a ripper. Hey, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I know her. Uh, put that away. I got this. Okay, take care of her. Not it's much. Like she came back, huh? Is, is this your ride? It's a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if you're sticking around, but I could have Ricky take a look at it. I brought some bounties to trade. This is a drifter now, huh? Screw putting in work. Okay. Then, uh, I should probably introduce you to Joe Haslin. He's the bounty collector. He's right up this way. I'm not staying. I'm not staying in a goddamn camp. Yeah, do whatever you want. 
so being stubborn, huh? You know, while you're here, uh, I'd like to introduce you uh, to someone. Her name is Sarah. She had a kid sister that, um, well, her kid sister reminds me of you, so I thought that maybe you would like her. I had a sister. Shit. She was older than me. A pain in my ass. Kind of reminds she me looks a little older. Um, when you first seen her, I wonder. Actually, he's not my brother. How many days or months or years went by? We rode together in the MC. And he's the head of security around here, so you should probably meet him too. I told you I'm not staying. And I heard you. Seriously, do whatever you want. So what kind of gun you got there? Are you making sure that you ride out with plenty of ammo? Yeah, I got enough. I'm good. Yeah. I was rather had to work at that. One hondo. Well, I can't say I expected to hear from you again. What is it this time? Believe me or not, I'm glad to see you again. That night at Wizard Island didn't seem to go well. What yeah. can I do for you, O'Brien? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Warn me about what? You remember? I told you the infected were evolving. Right, yeah, freaks are freak. What the hell do I care? <laughs> oh, shit. The strain of the virus, its effects on the human nervous and lymphatic systems is accelerating at an exponential rate. <laughs> they knew all along, of course, that it was happening. The men above me, that's why they were so cautious, so secretive. Get in the part two. <laughs> this guy. What the fuck? <laughs> I think that's a uh, hundred percent with the stories. Um, double check. Yeah, we're a hundred percent. Like I said, we got to wait for that uh, Copeland's bullshit story, and after that, we'll be a hundred percent. I know there's uh, the challenges. To be honest, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Um, obviously, you got to move on to the next game. But, oh, man. This is Radio Free Oregon. And the there it is. She'll set you free. You now it's 100%. Coke, Coke, shut the hell up. Completely 100% with this game. Um, it was fun to play, to be honest. You know, killing all the hordes is probably the funnest for me. The storyline, the beginning was boring, very boring in the very beginning. It took very long to develop, so probably halfway through the game, if not a little past halfway, it was finally picking up, man, and that's what we that's what I liked. Oh man, what do I rate it? Like I said, I, I critique pretty damn hard. I think for Red Dead Redemption 2, I think it was a 8.9. 
So with that being said, I'm gonna have to uh, give this game a 7.1, a 7.1. Um, just with the beginning, with the cutscenes, it kind of seems like it just jumped around and around. Didn't didn't feel um, as one, as completed. So that's probably the biggest thing for me. Um, <laughs> It was a happy ending for the most part for all the main characters who are still alive. But other than that, it looks like there's going to be a part two. So that's definitely uh, something to keep our eyes on. Um, I'll go ahead and sign it off there, man. Like I said, hope you guys enjoy this series. The next gameplay will be a throwback. So it's not going to be in 4K. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Help enjoy this series of days gone like i said thanks for tuning in kept you on the next one man peace